GSAT-11 could be last Indian satellite to be launched by a foreign rocket. At present, the GSLV MK-3 rocket has a carrying capacity of 4 tons. The Indian Space Agency is working on increasing GSLV MK-3's carrying capacity to 6 tons. If things pan out as intended, the 5.7-ton GSAT-11 will most probably be the last heavy Indian satellite to be launched by a foreign space agency, according to K-7, chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. The GSAT-11 communications satellite will be launched by Arian Space's Ariane rocket soon. We are working on a dual concept, increasing the carrying capacity of our heaviest rocket, the 640-ton geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle MK-3, GSLV MK-3, to 6 tons, while producing high-throughput and lower-weight communications satellites, said Mr. Sivan. He said nearly 60% of the satellite weight consists of onboard chemical fuel and by opting for electric power for maneuvering in space the mass of the satellite will be reduced. The Indian Space Agency had tried electric propulsion in its GSAT-9 satellite. At present, the GSLV MK-3 rocket has a carrying capacity of 4 tons. The Indian Space Agency is working on increasing GSLV MK-3's carrying capacity to 6 tons. Now most of the satellites will be contained to 4 to 6 tons, Mr. Sivan said. According to Sivan, the capacity enhancement is not restricted to GSLV MK3 alone but also to other rockets as it will bring down the overall launch cost. But that doesn't mean ISRO would freeze development of higher payload rockets. We have the capability to design and build over 6 ton payload rockets. We will start designing for bigger rockets, Mr. Sivan remarked. Our major objectives are to increase the production of rockets so as to increase the number of satellite launches, enhance our rocket's capability, look at reduction of rocket production cost, develop and realize the small rocket with a carrying capacity of 500 kilograms and also realize reusable launch vehicle rocket, he said. According to him, to increase the production of rockets, the space agency is looking at transferring the technology for making polar satellite launch vehicle, PSLV, rocket to industries. We are working out the methodologies like joint venture from that purpose, Mr. Sivan said. That part, ISRO is also open to transferring the technologies developed by it to the private sector for commercialization and wider use. For instance, we will be transferring the technology for making lithium-ion battery that could be used to power automobiles, he added. Mr. Sivan said ISRO is also focusing on developing a reusable launch vehicle that involves a lot of new technologies and the scramjet engine which in turn would reduce costs. According to him, the first half of 2018 will be busy with the launch of Chandrayaan-2 moon mission, GSAT-6A and a navigation satellite as the replacement for the first of the seven navigation satellites. On January 12, ISRO launched its remote sensing satellite Kartasat.